Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the FOB. Dr. Yash here. So, I got another topic that I find interesting. I really geek out on this topic. But I got some new stuff in the mail for the bus. And I thought it was neat. I thought I would show you because this is my first time putting hands on one of these. No, it's not my first time putting hands on an oil filter. It's my first time getting one of these. And finding out why everyone talks about cat filters with some kind of level of uh, reverence. So I got um, the oil filter, which you can see is rather large. It's probably, well, it is the biggest oil filter of anything I've owned yet. So I've changed oil on stuff that had either this big or it might have been longer than that. It was definitely a bigger engine, probably 13 liters. So I think it did have a bigger filter on it. But, um, that was only one time. So this is a pretty big filter. It's got some weight to it. Pretty solid. I'll get into that. So I got cap filters on this. When I first got this bus, I was thinking I'll use my typical my typical uh, pattern of just putting Wix filters on everything because I found Wix filters to be a good compromise of being reasonably priced and being a good quality product. I've seen the insides of them. They all seem to do pretty well. So I thought this was going to be no different. However, being that this thing has uh, Huey injection or hydraulic electric unit injection, which is the same, uh, it's actually the same injectors and the pump operates the same way as the, the fuel system as a whole operates the same way as a Power Stroke 7.3 and I believe also the 6.0, but I know for a fact the 7.3 Power Strokes um, were a joint operation between Cat and Navistar, so I've even heard people go so far as to say you can take the injectors out of this 3126, throw it in your 7.3 if you want solenoids that say Cat on them, but otherwise there's no difference. They say they've actually switched them back and forth depending on what they had in stock for used stuff, so same stuff. The, it's also the Achilles heel of these engines. They need absolutely perfectly clean oil. You know, they're, I'm not saying they have to, you know, it's got to be brand new all the time, but they're very sensitive to oil quality and oil flow for cold starting, for longevity of the high pressure oil pump. Um, you know, those things can get expensive when they fail. So I figured instead of I didn't even price a Wix filter. I went straight for the cat. Once I seen the inside of this and seen, okay, they definitely have a higher quality filter than what I've seen from other, well, marketed under different brands. Obviously, this Caterpillar did not make this filter. They get someone else to make it. I haven't figured out who makes them yet. But it's probably going to be between Manhummel, which makes Wix, uh, Baldwin, or Hastings but I have not seen any of their own branded filters have some of the stuff I've seen in these filters. So obviously if they're getting them made by them, they are given a spec sheet to these manufacturers that's better than their normal branding. So I chose to spend like 30 bucks for this oil filter. Um, yeah, that's kind of expensive, but high pressure oil pump being a couple thousand bucks, this is a lot cheaper. And uh, knowing that I'm putting the design spec cleanliness of oil through it uh, makes me feel a lot better. Um, normally I wouldn't go nuts about an OEM oil filter, but this thing is really nice. I've seen the insides of them. If you haven't, you should check them out. And I don't know if I had if they mentioned this, but first of all, like I said, this thing has got some weight. You can't squeeze as big as this thing is you would think it would be more flexible on the sides and you could squeeze it but it is some seriously rigid canister here and what kind of like I, I just looked at this and thought I was looking at your typical flat stamp steel with punched holes in it but no this is this is cast aluminum with you know, actual machine threads in it. Like those are those are some really nice threads. I know that sounds just like why is he freaking out about the threads? This is a really nice, high quality piece. It's like thirty bucks for this oil filter. Like, 
this is a really nice piece of you know disposable consumable maintenance equipment like I'm really shocked at how well this thing is is uh, manufactured like um, it sounds crazy to me even saying it it sounds weird to me but after specking it out it's definitely worth the money after seeing it and putting my hands on it I'm like that's nice so also went ahead uh, it doesn't need fuel filters in it um, actually I think the fuel filters that are in it are virtually new in, in terms of miles um, you know, they've sat for a couple years with fuel in them but they're virtually brand new as far as mileage so I got these as spares I got two of these I got a bulk pack or uh, I bought them in and you know and I basically I saved by buying two um, and I think I paid like 15 bucks a piece for these which is actually not a bad deal at all eBay is awesome because these are both brand new still in the plastic factory stuff and the same things that I could say about the oil filter I can say about this thing this uh, cat fuel filter I can't remember the micron rating on the oil filter but I know these fuel filters are rated down to two microns that's why a lot of guys like in you know with other diesel engines like Duramaxes, Cummins, Power Strokes they'll end up doing uh, filter housings that take cat filters because they I mean when it says advanced high efficiency they're not playing around two micron is a really fine rating for a spin on filter and it also has a very very rigid canister and it also has a nice cast aluminum base plate I mean this is really nice stuff and there's not even really all that much pressure that goes through this like design spec for a transfer pump usually you're like looking at less than 100 psi usually like 70 or 80 is kind of normal for this type of uh, fuel system and this thing is way overbuilt so again I got extras because I figure um, this versus being on the side of the road this is a lot cheaper a lot less headache so I got a couple of those. I'm not going to be putting those on there, but I am going to be changing the oil because um, I'm going to be hitting the road with this thing in a little over a month. So I figured to go ahead and do the maintenance, at least the engine oil. Looks like everything else is actually um, taken care of. Found some maintenance records that look like I'm going to be in good shape, but engine oil definitely needs to be changed. Just from the age on the oil, I'm going to change it before I hit, hit the road. Plus, that's five more gallons of fuel stock, so I'm not going to complain about it. So, um, Yeah, I'm only going to be changing the oil in this thing based on mileage like once a year. So uh, this oil change, I'm just going to put regular Rotella in it. Um, after that, it's going to be Rotella T6. So it, for the price of the insurance that I'm going to be getting out of it using uh, synthetic Rotella with the good cold flow numbers of a 5W40. That's going to be really nice in cold starts. Using high quality filtration and most likely using another centrifuge as a bypass filter. I should get more than reasonable lifespan out of this engine, if not impressive. So, you know, we're at 220,000 miles now with no mechanical issues, so let's keep it that way. So, anyways. I was really geeking out about those filters. Everything else on the vehicle is going to get, you know, it's going to be a Wix air filter, um, Wix fuel filter water separator at the uh, tank, which again, that water separator filter is relatively new as well. But I'm just going to stick to what I know, stick to a known good um, equipment industrial type uh, filtration manufacturer. But for as far as the oil and the fuel, the main fuel filter and the oil filter on the engine, those things, thats I haven't seen a filter that tops those yet. Those are really nice filters. But I got those in today. I figured instead of typing out a really long social media post and geeking out on it, I'd go ahead and just put it up here as a video so the subscribers uh, could check it out, put a little bit more content up here, and encourage you all, if you've got a 3126, or a C7, or um, I think International used Huey, of course Ford, Navistar used Huey. Um, if you've got those, you probably should stick to factory OEM spec filtration. 
So just throwing that out there, kind of a public service announcement sort of thing. Like, uh, you know, just, hey, pay attention to this and keep your engine a lot, around a lot longer and save yourself a lot of money by spending a little extra money on filtration. They go a long way on these engines with Huey injection. So anyway, hopefully, uh, hopefully you liked this video. Um, another one of those handsy desktop videos. So I just thought it was kind of neat. I've never seen some of these features. And if you go check out the videos that talk about, that have cut open cat filters and they show the, the actual design inside of them, some of the features, there's real subtle details and stuff, but if you see what's in these filters, you'll realize why I'm so impressed with them. Because it's like, yeah, I've never seen another filter that has that in it. So they didn't leave any stone unturned when it comes to uh, making sure these filters last a long, as long as they need to and filter very well and very efficiently during their expected lifespan. So definitely over-engineered but that's not a bad thing in my opinion so hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully it was informative educational entertaining something along those lines um, anyway leave me some comments if you got any questions put them down there anything you any suggestions about filtration or oil choices some people hate Rotella I like it tell me why you hate it or why you like it so anyway you know the deal I'm gonna go ahead and jump off of here I think I've said enough about oil and fuel filters for one day um, so you know the deal like comment subscribe I'll see you next time